Uh, Israel has four, I think, important uh, red lines in Syria that have been you know, well articulated by, by the national uh, leadership. Uh, the first is to prevent the transfer of any strategic weapons from Syrian regime arsenals to Hezbollah. We're talking about chemical weapons, uh, but also about uh, advanced missiles, uh, land-to-sea weapons, uh, long-range missiles, ground-ground. The second is to prevent any escalation or serious escalation of violence in the Golan Heights. The third is, is to prevent uh, or at least limit the uh, passage of strategic weapons from, from Russia uh, to Syria and to prevent their actual operationalization. And the fourth is to prevent the transfer of any strategic weapons to uh, Islamist extremists inside Syria through the course of battle with the, with the regime. Israel has definitely enforced the first red line, that is the transfer of strategic arms uh, you know, to uh, Hezbollah. It struck uh, targets in Syria five, maybe six times uh, using air power. It's also operated on the Golan Heights to enforce its red line there. And it has responded with limited but pretty precise an effective military force against any activity it thought was dangerous to its forces. None of the parties, including Israel, really have any interest in, es in es getting Israel more involved in, in a military sense and escalating uh, the, the situation. It's got its eye on the prize, and that, that is really the, the priority being Iran. It doesn't want to get distracted uh, with a fight either in Syria um, or with Hezbollah. The most likely cause for escalation would be something coming out of an Israeli strike against an armed shipment going to Hezbollah. This always has the potential to drag in Syrian forces, to cause a reaction from Hezbollah forces, and just to spin up into a broader conflict. Hezbollah, I don't believe, wants anything that would uh, risk another general conflict with Israel. But Hezbollah may see reason eventually to try and reestablish some of their credibility by going back to their original mission, which is focused on Israel. Hezbollah might choose to act against Israel from within Lebanon, or perhaps from Hezbollah forces in the Golan Heights area. Perhaps the, the, the real danger on the Israeli Hezbollah front is, is either accident or, or miscalculation. In particular, Hezbollah would take some military action uh, that would cross an Israeli red line. According to a recent Wall Street Journal story, Hezbollah has learned the lesson of the Israeli preemptive action, and now they are taking apart these systems and sending them off to Lebanon in smaller pieces. The danger is, of course, that some of these weapons will show up in Lebanon, and Israel will eventually get intelligence on the whereabouts and uh, be tempted to go and strike these weapons in Lebanon. The U.S. could caution everybody potentially involved in an arms transfer to Hezbollah, you know, not to do it, to caution the Syrians to be careful on the Golan Heights and not to let military action there escalate, and to caution the Russians in particular about providing any additional or new kinds of weapons uh, to, to the Syrian regime. Beyond that, there's not a lot, a lot the United States uh, could do. Israel's going to act when it sees its interest, uh, you know, threatened. Uh, in the United States, I don't think it will be able to really stop it. It's really a heightened tension that is not going to diminish anytime soon as long as we have this war going on next door.